All right, all right. What's up, guys? Tyler Martin here from Godhood Comics. Welcome back to the Godhood Lum, the official Godhood Comics podcast. We are back with another episode, but today is a very special episode, okay? So before we get into that and why it's a special episode, we first have to apologize. This has been a very long time coming. Um, I have been sick. I had strep throat for about two weeks. Antibiotics had to be applied. It was very, very bad. And then, you know, we are doing a lot of other things creatively. We got tons of books in production, still working on our antagonist pre-development TV show. And it's just a lot. It gets to be a lot that um, sometimes we just don't have the time to record. But I am making this a priority, making our podcast a priority, making our YouTube channel a priority. Um, and so that is going to be our main focus moving forward. Forward, these episodes will start pumping out. All right. So let's talk about why this is a very special episode. Well, let's, for starters, let's talk about uh, where we're recording from. So we are recording it at our local comic book shop, Challenges, Games, and Comics here in Decatur, Georgia at North DeKalb Mall. 2050 Lawrenceville Highway. All right. Um, listen, guys, make sure you are supporting your local comic book shop, right? They are our bread and butter. They are the backbone of our community, certainly the backbone of the independent comic community. So wherever you are watching this today, this week, whenever, this month, as soon as you can, the next chance you get, Google, Google the, the closest comic book shop to you and get there ASAP, all right? So we made the last video and we got some comments and some emails on um, new creators saying, you know, what's the top five things? If you had to explain the top five things that you needed um, to become a comic book creator, f top five things you need to know, uh, what would they be? Now, this is going to vary from creator to creator. None, no two are the same. Um, my experiences are going to be different than a lot of my colleagues and so forth. Uh, these are just the things that I have come to admire um, and implement in my day to day. And it's things that I wish I knew when I was first starting off. All right. So this episode, these are the top five things you need to know before you start creating comic books. All right. Guys, so number one is going to be, Budget, 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 budget. Budgeting is, is extremely important for any creative project, but more importantly, when you are creating your comic book. I wish I had known this ahead of time, that creating a budget was essential to the production and everything else that was, was to follow. You need to create um, your budget. We did a video on uh, being a comic cr creator versus a comic preneur um, and the difference between both and why we need both. Um, and in that video, we did talk about your budget. You have to know why you're creating comic books first before you can actually start your budget. Uh, do you want to make a living off doing this? Uh, are you trying to sell your comic books, kind of make some money, make some, 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 some cash on the side? Uh, are you just in it to have fun? Do you just want to put a story out that you've had in your head for so long? Uh, context matters when you're creating comics. What's your reason why? Go ahead and let, uh, go to our previous video um, on comic book creators versus compreneurs to kind of check that out and figure out why you're doing this to begin with. Setting a budget is imperative. You need to know how much you're going to spend making this comic book how much you have to spend out of pocket to create the finished project product. And we like to call it from concept to coin, right? So from concept, meaning from your brain, all the way to coin from when you're selling it. Budgeting matters. Here's why budgeting matters. You are paying a shoot ton of people to make this thing happen. Who are we paying, Tyler? Well, I'll tell you, okay? You are paying your artist or your artist. Now, that's going to include your penciler, your inker, your colorist, and your letterer, and more. That This is not even including in production, I mean, in publication, right, in promotion and marketing. So what is your budget per page? Do you want to spend $60 per page? $70 per page? 
$80 per page, $90 per page, $100 per page. Now, we always talk about quality. That's our first thing here at Godhood Comics, and so you need to keep, keep that in mind. The lower the page rate, nine times out of ten, the lower the quality. This is why we say, what do you want to do this for? Are you doing it to make money, or are you doing it for fun? If you're doing this for fun and you are a comic book creator and you just want to put your work out there and share it with others, then you can set a lower budget. I always recommend those who want to take this seriously, those who want to uh, build a community, to build a fan base, to uh, hit huge Kickstarter goals, who want to work with producers, who want to work with professional artists. You know, if you're in this as a comicpreneur, your budget is going to have to be set per page um, pretty high. Uh, for example, our budget rate right now is about 125, 150 per page. Um, I don't see a reason right now going past that, just where we are at the level we can get a book done for about 7K for one book. Um, that's not including printing and, and, and publication and promotion, um, but just to get the actual book done. Now, yours may be different. When I first started off, uh, we, we could get a book done for 1500 We can get a book done for 2500 and it'll increase as you grow in demand. So I always say, set your budget and know your reason why. Your reason why will let you know your journey, okay, and what you and how your budget is going to look. So number two, the second thing you need as a beginning beginner in comic book creating is patience. Patience, patience, patience. Seventy five percent of comic book creating is waiting. You're waiting on your editor. If you're not a writer, you're waiting, waiting on your writer. You're waiting on your artists. You're waiting on your publisher. You're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting on your fans. Seventy five percent of comic creating is waiting and patience having patience critical super critical um you can drive yourself crazy from impatience in this industry you need to know uh, this is why uh, putting together a, a trustworthy and worthwhile team um, is essential because if you have configured an amazing team the waiting is just going to be that much easier. You know that your team is on it. You know they will produce. You know they are going to just completely blow your mind, hit their deadlines. And so the waiting is is not that bad, especially when you get new pages and new pencils and new artwork. It's like you're a kid on, Chris, uh, um, on Christmas morning. So patience is very, very, very important. Practice it, practice it, practice it. It A lot of comic booking as a uh, creator and a writer is out of our hands. Once we finalize that script, once we our editor finalize that script, once we send it, out, um, send it out to our artists and our creative teams, you are waiting. You're waiting for on everybody else's time, and you're hoping that they do their part. Third thing you need to know is how to network. I'll tell you this. No man ever created a comic book alone. Now, hear me when I say this, all right? Pay close attention. We're not speaking literally here. I'll tell you why later. No man ever created a comic book alone. What I mean by that is that this is a community. It's a community. And networking is going to excel your time and get you to a level that you could never imagined in half the time. All right. Who are you networking with? Well, we always talk about on this channel that independent comic creating is a community. It's a large community, but as large as it is, it's very, it's still relatively small. Going out, figuring out who these guys are in your area, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, networking, supporting other creators, liking, commenting, purchasing, putting your money where your mouth is, purchasing other creators' work, letting them know, hey, I'm here. I'm a comic book creator. How can you help me? How can I help support you? Networking, networking, networking. Uh, luckily, we got this down packed pretty early on. I've always, um, I have a marketing background, so uh, networking um, was always something I've been very good at. So we didn't miss a beat on that. But I know creators, um, close colleagues, and close friends in the comic book industry, uh, where networking is non-existent and non-existent, and they struggle. 
they struggle with it. They've struggled with it in the long run. It's caught up to them um, because they've put produced all this work. They put all this work out, amazing work, and no one knows about it, and no one knows where it is, and no one knows how to get it. Um, and at that point, it seems all for naught. Um, now, a lot of the times, guys, I have to always reiterate and clarify that we are talking a lot of my um, – Videos are for comicpreneurs. Uh, you know, I've learned how to monetize co creating comic books um, with our sales and, and, and pro promo and marketing. And so uh, I'm speaking to a lot of times uh, to those that are interested in just making money off of uh, producing quality comic books. Um, again, if you're having fun, man, we need you. You, We need those creators who are just comic book creators. They are not in it for any type of of, of, of uh, financial gain. They're excited and they're having fun. That are they, they are the backbone of our, of our community. If this is if this is you, this video is not for you. Keep doing your thing. We love you. All right, number four, guys. No, listen. Extremely important. What I'm about to say here. Number four, the fourth thing you need to know when coming into comic book creation is consistency. Consistency. There's an old saying that the only thing that separates failure from success is consistency. And it couldn't be more on the money when talking about comic book creating. Listen, we talk about it all the time. This is a long, tiresome, tedious process. To produce one book can take months, up to six months to a year. We know this. We've experienced it. But the consistency and your ability to keep going in spite of the waiting, in spite of the, the uh, lack of sales, in spite of the lack of following, in spite of um, not really feeling like people are taking note of your work, the consistency will win the day. Um, and, and just kind of being around and seeing how it all ends is, was always kind of appealing to me. Um, I made a decision years ago that Godhood Comics was the hill I was going to die on. And so knowing that I'll be doing this for the rest of my natural born life um, just made it a little more fun uh, for me. Um, consistency kind of changed our, our trajectory um, in the industry. And, it, and, you know, we've only just begun and we'll, we'll, we're will we going to keep going, going up. So please, please, please decide what you want to do. If you want to do this, you have to be consistent to a certain point to garner the type of, success and reward that you want as an individual, right? What you put into this industry is, is, is exactly what you're going to get out. So consistency is key. Number five is the most important aspect of creating comic books. And that is having fun guys. Not everyone is, can create a comic book. You are in the most exciting industry in literature. You have to make sure you're having fun despite the hiccups, despite the time, uh, time frame, despite the stress, despite all of the things you'll experience and all the downsides you'll experience as a comic book creator. You've got to make sure you're having fun. Uh, a mentor of mine told me that he would rather uh, be getting stressed out by doing what he loves to do than being stressed out just by sitting in an office space. Right. So you're going to, it's going to be it, just like life. There's going to be trials and there's going to be tribulations. I would rather have a, the, the flu in like Hawaii, right. And on vacation versus having the flu at home. I mean, right. It, they're both pretty bad. You're going to feel a little shitty, but imagine the views of the beach, right? So you want to make sure you are having fun. That is the most important thing that I can say about, creating comic books and then it's like well why wouldn't you be doing that anyway you, you know no one just wakes up and decides they want to create a comic book it's always been in you you've always been interested in these types of things uh, uh you, you've been a nerd your entire life you you love fandom um, you love superheroes and fantasy and sci-fi so make sure you're pulling from that pulling from that love when you're creating it and it'll, it'll make sure um, that you you're having fun. You're having a good time. You've got to have a blast. Uh, every time I'm creating comic books, writing, working with artists, working with my production team, uh, whatever it is we're doing, I'm making sure I'm having fun first. If I'm not having fun, I can't do it. And that's just something I take. Uh, I've taken 
in life and applied it in life, right? Uh, so when I was working at my other jobs um, before I retired to do Godhood full time, you know, I was just making sure I was always laughing and joking and, and having a ball. You just got to have fun. Life is too short to not have fun. And so comic booking is a lot of pressure. So make sure during that process, you're having a good old time, right? Guys, those are the five things you need to know. You need to know before you decide you are going to create a comic book. Budgeting, patience, networking, consistency, and fun. Guys, as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If this video was helpful for you, for you send it to somebody else, to an uncle, a cousin, a friend, a teacher, whoever you care about. If you know they're creative and they're interested in creating comic books, make sure you share our channel with them. Guys, also, you know, go ahead over to the, um, to the Patreon. You know, if we have a bad week in sales, you know, the Patreon, you guys just showing your support. It helps us keep the lights on. It helps us pump out uh, new IP and also offers us um, behind the scenes looks, never before the, uh, never before seen stuff and a lot of exclusivity for our fans. So go ahead and, and, and subscribe to the Patreon. Keep us going. Keep us happy so we can come here and keep creating for you guys. All right. You can go ahead and go to our website, www.godhoodcomics.com to purchase all of our books, read all about about us follow us on social media we appreciate you being here guys stay tuned and we'll see you for the next video